Apple today announced that Apple Music will be getting spatial audio with Dolby Atmos at no additional cost starting in June. According to Apple, subscribers will be able to listen to more than 75 million songs in lossless audio. Apple uses ALAC, which is Apple Lossless Audio Codec, to preserve every single bit of the original audio file. This means that Apple Music subscribers will be able to hear the exact same thing that the artist created inside of the studio. When the update hits next month, users can listen to lossless audio by heading into settings, music, and a new audio quality section will be available. Here, they can choose different resolutions for different connections, such as cellular, Wi-Fi, or for when you download. Apple Music's lossless tier starts at CD quality, which is 16-bit at 44.1 kilohertz, and goes up to 24-bit at 48 kilohertz, and is playable natively on Apple devices. For the true audio file, Apple Music also offers high-resolution, lossless, all the way up to 24-bit at 192 kilohertz, although this will require external hardware. With the news that Apple is offering lossless audio at no additional cost, we've already seen other streaming services drop its prices in efforts to compete with Apple. Amazon is the first company to drop its high-end tier down to $9.99, and one would assume Tidal might be close behind, but no word has yet been announced from Tidal about any pricing changes. Spotify announced Spotify Hi-Fi earlier this year, but did not give any update on pricing. Considering that Apple just made this new feature available for free for its subscribers, one would have to think that Spotify will have no choice but to offer Hi-Fi at no extra cost to its current Spotify Premium subscribers. Apple also announced that Apple Music will have spatial audio and support for Dolby Atmos. According to Apple, at launch, subscribers can enjoy thousands of songs in spatial audio from some of the world's bigger artists and music across all genres. Apple Music is working with artists and labels to add new releases and the best catalog tracks as more artists begin to create music specifically for the spatial audio experience experience. By default, Apple Music will automatically play Dolby Atmos tracks on all AirPods and Beats headphones with an H1 or W1 chip, as well as the built-in speakers in the latest versions of iPhone, iPad, Mac, but Dolby Atmos for all the other headphones can be turned on in the settings app. In efforts to expand its catalog of compatible tracks, Dolby and Apple are working together to make it easier for musicians, producers, and engineers to create songs in Dolby Atmos. By doubling the number of Dolby-enabled studios in major markets, offering educational programs, and providing resources to independent artists. This is huge news for Apple, but also the rest of the music streaming world, as this could potentially lead to more people making the jump from another platform to Apple Music. On the other hand, I also don't really know how many people really can tell a difference or even care about getting lossless audio for their music, and so I'd love to know what you think. First off, if you're a Spotify subscriber, Amazon, Tidal, etc., is this something that you'd be willing to jump over to Apple Music for? Let me know in the comments down below. This has been Dan with MacRumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.